Hey church, we're looking at a brand new series today in our devotionals for the next few weeks on relationships and especially looking at some characters uh, from the Bible. And we're going to start right at the start with Adam and Eve. So we're going to read from Genesis 1, 27 to 29. It says, God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them male and female. He created them. God blessed them and he said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea and uh, the birds in the sky over every living creature that moves on the ground. And then God said, I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for food. This is the first words that Adam and Eve hear from the mouth of God. And I think they're powerful for us to understand. And a couple of quick things about relationships. Number one, it's really important that we have a conviction that every single person is made in the image of God. If we see others as created in God's image, it totally shapes the way we treat people, the way we talk to people, and the way we perceive others, even if we don't know who they are. And so let's make sure we treat others as image bearers of God. The second thing is it's clear from the first words in the Bible that we are created for partnership. We create both for partnership with one another, that God wants us to work together for his purpose. And also we're created for partnership with God. We were not called to do life isolated either from him or from one another and so God calls us to be together and he spoke over Adam and Eve with those fundamental principles that every person is made in the image of God and every person is designed for relationships designed for partnership he said over them be fruitful rule over and I give you seed bearing plants God wants us to be fruitful in everything that we put our hand to. We're not just here to survive. We're here for fruitfulness. Faithfulness in Matthew 25 is not defined as holding on to. Faithfulness is defined as fruitfulness. We're designed to be fruitful, to rule over. That means to take responsibility for the things that God has given to us. In our relationships, let's be responsible in how we speak to others. Let's be responsible and not allow things to fester or go unmanaged or unresolved. We must rule over and subdue the attitudes of our heart and the motives of our heart so that we can treat others in partnership as image bearers of God. And the final thing God speaks over to them is he hands over to them uh, leadership and stewardship. He says, I'm going to give to you every seed bearing plant. And the truth is that law of sowing and reaping goes all the way through the Bible. And God has given us seed that we can invest in others. And also for us to nurture the seed, the gift of God in other people. When we understand that we were born for partnership with God and partnership with others, it changes how we see life. Don't do today isolated. Understand God wants you to work in cooperation, in community with others and with a listening ear today to do life in partnership with him. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 1, Paul speaking, I pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. We will complete God's work if we understand, as Adam and Eve heard God said, that you are image bearers of God and you are called to do life in relationship with others and in relationship with him. Have a listening ear to God today. Listen for the nudges of the Holy Spirit and how you can partner in his cause today. 
Have a great day. We're praying for you. We love you. And may God bless everything you put your hand to today. In Jesus' name, amen.